in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Once again, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. How are you, my dear students? I hope you are enjoying virtual learning classes of Pakistan International School, Taif. So this is science class. I'm Miss Shazia. Definitely, uh, you are enjoying science as well. <clears throat> So uh, we have started chapter number two, sense organs, and here we will study about some other sense organs. In the previous chapter, just recall in your mind, we have studied the eye and the nose, um, sorry, the eyes and the ear. Now we will see some other sense organs. Now, first of all, we will see here the skin. It is the sense organ of touch as you know that if you see here in these diagrams it is not only the sense uh, organ for the touch but it is for the sense organ for uh, sensing the heat pain cold and touch as well so you see these are some nerves or some nerve cells or we, are, we say them receptors or nerve cells which uh, just receives these type of feelings. These are called receptors. If we see the largest sense organ in our body is the skin. If anybody will ask you which is the largest organ of our body, so that is definitely skin because it spreads on whole of your body whole of your body that's why the skin is the organ of touch skin covers every part of our body as we know so what is its function it protects the inner parts of our body main important function is uh, the protection of inner parts just assume just example just uh, just just think in your mind that if oh, uh, we don't have skin, we will not have skin. So what will happen? Our muscles will expose or every part will expose out and it can get infection and it can be not be protected from any injury. Yes, definitely. So it is a blessing of Allah that we are having this type of covering on our body to protect every part of our body. The skin contains several kinds of cells that detect pain, pressure, touch, heat, and cold. There are lift, uh, different um, senses which our skin can feel. If we see its internal structure, so our skin has an outer layer and an inner layer. The outer layer has color pigment by which the skin can be darker or lighter. The person can have light complexion or dark complexion. So sometimes you might have seen in Europe, the uh, people are very light and in African and Asian countries, uh, in Asian countries, the people are in uh, the middle, they are having whitish color and in African, they are darker in color. Actually, not only this pigment, but also the environment counts in this situation. If more sunlight, so more darker color. If less sunlight, so less. And as well as your heredity or your uh, family background matters in this regard. But the actual reason whether the family background is there or the environment, your color uh, body color or skin color controls by the color pigments which are present in the outer layer as well as its other function is to protect uh, the skin from harmful rays this outer layer and these pigments they protect the skin from harmful rays of the sun harmful rays of the sun which we cannot see uh, but when they strike our skin, 
they reflect back. Um, like the Asian countries, pe uh, people like they are having whitish color, so they are that is the best. Uh, they are having the best uh, best concentration of pigments, and they are having uh, best complexion uh, regarding protection from harmful rays. If you <clears throat> uh, just uh, see. Uh, the European countries, uh, the people over there, because they are having fair skin, so they are having lots of skin problems, skin allergies, skin cancers, etc. Because they cannot bear the harmful, uh, they cannot bear the sunlight, and harmful rays can damage their skin. Now we will see its inner layer. Inner layer has blood vessels inside it, lots of things which make it too much sensitive for different things. Like it is having blood vessels, nerves, sweat glands, roots of hair. You see here, root hair are also, uh, roots of these hair are also present. And these are blue and red. Blue are veins and red are arteries. They are also present. As well as the sweat glands are also pre present, which are release uh, the wastage from the body as well as they make our body cool when uh, they secrete um, a sweat in, like in summer. So uh, when our body perspires or uh, there is a sweating uh, a lot, it means it releases lots of germs, lots of harmful substances from the body as well. So when we touch something, sensitive cells of the skin uh, receive messages and send them to the brain. Not only one type of um, sensitive cells are present like auditory nerve and like retina cells in eye but it is having a different type of cells to perceive the different sensation we will see in a few minutes so uh, i think you don't know that the skin at the tips of the fingers is most sensitive and the least sensitive part of our body is our heel of our under our feet yes that's why we can walk with a feet too long and if you see this one uh, the braille system is used by a blind person and that that person is using these fingertips to just read the words by the sense of touch because they cannot see so they use braille system what is braille system actually you see in this diagram these are some raised dots some bumps here and these are dots and these dots represent the letters and the letters form the words and like uh, we study they also study they judge all these words by touching the fingers especially the index finger this one that is used for the reading purposes if you see this diagram when the one dot is raised it means that is a two dots are uh, raised it means that is the letter b and like that they are having numbers also so they can uh, study uh, the blind persons can study with this one actually the braille system was developed by the person that's name was braille that's why that is called the braille system for the blind person he was also the uh, blind okay now what happened when we touch hard things so you see you uh, you take away your hand within no time without any thinking um, because one it just tells us about the temperature other it to just uh, your skin feels a lot of pain like that the pricking of injection uh, lots of people uh, gets irritated by the injections isn't it uh, like you can see here there are lots of sensitive cells which are 
sensitive to heat or cold and touch and pain and pressure so they are different cells which senses them and then uh, send signals to the brain whether what are the weather is cold or hot any type of light pressure or tight pressure like if anybody pinch you so definitely you will slap that person so like the pinching irritates a person a lot so that it means your skin is too much sensitive you see cells these cells are touching uh, uh, and uh, like getting in contact with the pressure and the cells tells us the quantity of the pressure Okay, the next one we will see the nose. The nose, mm, yummy soup. Which tell, uh, which organ tells you this? That is yummy. Definitely your nose. So how does it tell you that is this is yummy? Because the uh, aroma, the fragrance of that soup is uh, pleasant. So it means the sense of touch and sense of smell both are interrelated yes we will discuss it so the nose is the sense of smell if we see the nose there you can how can you judge that there is dead or decaying rat anywhere outside yes definitely your nose so what is present in your nose that it tells you uh, about the smells so let's talk about its internal structure. The nose is a hollow air passage, like it is empty air passage. Hollow means empty, air passage means the way from which the air moves, like this one. This is empty passage, this is your nose. So it is, it is having two openings that are called nostrils, like this one, you see these are nostrils. And in each side of the nose is an air chamber. This is actually the side view. So this is the side view. So you can see this is a hollow chamber and that is one side. Both sides are divided by uh, a thin bone of the nose. So we can breathe from both of the sides. So the roof of the nose has lining of nerve cells to sense smell if you see the roof of the nose you can uh, there are uh, lots of nerve cells by which we can sense the smell when certain odor chemicals present in air enter our nose they touch the nerve cells nerve cells pass the message to the brain through olfactory nerve so what happened because uh, the fragrances the smells are the tiny particles they are the chemicals when they touch these nerve endings when we breathe in they touch the nerve ending so they create signals and the signals pass through olfactory nerve into the brain olfactory wherever the word comes it is related with the smell or with the nose so our brain tells us whether the odor is pleasant or unpleasant. So we can judge by the signals which move into our brain. So if you know that um, which organisms are having the strongest sense of smell, yes, they are dogs and they are used to trace uh, thieves and uh, drugs and they are used by our police and army department um, to just uh, trace them and trace the criminals the one other important thing that our nose can detect about 10 a thousand different scents and smells Ten thousand. that is not a less quantity like uh, lots of different smells that we can uh, smell. 
So our sense of smell also helps our sense of taste. How does it help to sense the taste? Uh, we will see in a few minutes. Okay, if you see the internal structure of nose, you see this is your uh, one side of the nose. This is nostril. And if you see the air passes through it, uh, uh, any type of chemicals passes through it, these are nerve endings. And these nerve endings um, just detect uh, the sense and just pass on to the brain through this olfactory bulb. This uh, olfactory bulb and this is related to the brain with olfactory nerve. These, are, these cells are called actually the nerve, uh, receptor cells. So if we see that the smell uh, smells are tiny particles that break off the surface of the things and float in the air. You see um, how the uh, um, rose smells that is pleasant or unpleasant. You can just detect when the chemicals pass on through air into your nose, but actually we don't see these chemicals, but the smells are aromatic substances, aromatic means uh, which are having smell and they reaches to the bulb and through the uh, um, olfactory nerve to the brain and brain per can perceive the uh, uh, smell. Okay, our sense of smell also helps our sense of taste how you can see when anybody uh, like you enter in your home and uh, your mom is cooking um, biryani or something pizza uh, for you so the smell tells uh, it that uh, what is uh, cooking uh, in the kitchen so like it can enhance uh, the taste as well and uh, how does it happen if you see there is uh, this is nose and the blue this is the air passage and air uh, through the nostrils mm, is moving into the air uh, nasal chamber and through here what happened uh, these uh, nerves are just getting these uh, signals and these signals pass on to the brain and from here, the tongue taste receptors, taste receptors, uh, which are present under the tongue and in the tongue, they just produce a saliva and the chemicals passes on the signals to the um, brain center here. So because brain uh, is having the same smell and taste center, so uh, here are the things are going on all together so uh, as well as if we uh, just uh, just eating something delicious or we just uh, um, uh, what we can say just inhale uh, inhaling any pleasant smell of any or uh, favorite food so what happened the chemicals pass on to the uh, to this um, uh, taste receptors of the tongue so it uh, started to produce a saliva so that saliva and that chemicals uh, makes the signal and reaches to the brain and it enhances our taste let's take a look on the uh, last a sense organ that is the tongue and the tongue is the organ of taste if you see mm, yummy 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 strawberries and how do you feel that that is yummy your tongue helps you in this regard so if you see the tongue it is the organ of taste um, so it helps to detect the flavor of food. So it detects different types of uh, flavors of the food, including sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. So let's take a look on its uh, a little a structure that its upper surface, the, your tongue's upper surface is having small pimple-like structure or small bumps are present here. These are called, or small lumps are called taste buds. These taste buds have many nerve cells inside them. You see this uh, looks like a rounded structure, but it is having many nerve cells inside it. And when uh, particles of food touches these birds, nerves uh, send signals to, uh, um, of taste to the 
brain. So uh, when this reaches uh, to the brain, uh, so our uh, just uh, brain tells us what type of taste it is. So we can feel sweet, salty, sour, and bitter taste on different parts of our tongue. If you see the tip of the tongue is um, uh, can detect a uh, sweet taste and with that the side of the uh, tongue tastes salty and uh, at the back the side of the tongue tastes sour and at the back of the tongue in the middle it, it is having uh, the taste buds for bitter taste so do you know that there are almost 10,000 taste buds in average person's tongue? But in older person, they are reduced to half, almost there can be 5,000. And the taste buds can be reduced by smoking and using different drugs. If you see these bumps on that, uh, uh, that tongue, they are taste buds, which tells us uh, about the uh, different taste. You see here in the tongue, the front tip is for a salty, uh, uh, sorry, sweet, then salty, this side, on both of the sides as well, and not on uh, this, but, but uh, this also portion is related to this one, this. Uh, the back side portion that is mm, for a sour taste. If you see the human tongue, you see some papillae, or uh, these are called papillae, or these are a pimple like structure which are present in your tongue, and it is having lots of taste. Uh, uh, these are called taste buds. One taste bud, and it is having lots of nerves. Look, nerve fibers are present here, and which collectively go to the brain center. And front is for salty, the side as well as in the middle, that is called uh, that. Um, sorry, the sides almost and somehow uh, a few um, like a little portion from the middle that is for salty and at the tip that is for sweet uh, at the back of the tongue bitter taste we can detect sour taste from the back at the side of the tongue now uh, dear students uh, we are gonna do exercise this is key for you um, you can just attempt uh, it and you can take help uh, from this key as well. So it can feel the pressure. What can feel the pressure? Yes, definitely the skin. The hole in the middle of the iris that is definitely pupil. Uh, air enters the nose uh, that hole, those two holes, these are called nostrils and which carries the signals from brain, uh, from eye to the brain that uh, so from ear to the brain that is auditory nerve if we see what are present on the tongue so they are definitely taste but to taste the food if you see to uh, choose the best answer so the control room of our body control room of our cell is a nucleus but for the body that is brain the most sensitive part of our eye is retina where the image is is formed and uh, the dumb by birth can speak cannot speak uh, he or she also has no sense of hearing because speaking and hearing both are interrelated the olfactory nerves links to the nose and brain and definitely and the sense of our body are closely related to smell and taste smell and taste both are interrelated as well as what can uh, sense uh, this uh, uh, can be the sense organ for temperature actually it must be skin here but the skin option is not present so uh, uh, tongue is also there for um, you know, detecting the temperature so if we see the 
concept map you uh, uh, in the first you have to write the main term through which all the branches are arised so you see here number one uh, 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 keyword is given here and, and those uh, terms are given here uh, in this line so uh, olfactory nerve is related to nose taste buds related to on uh, tongues cochlea is present in the ear retina makes the image in the eyes and the largest organ of our body is the skin so with that my dear students uh, we have uh, finished our chapter number two alhamdulillah inshallah we will see you next time wish you all the best